Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to an access show today, taking a look at delays to games and one of them you're certainly not going to be very happy with. Cyberpunk 2077 seems to be the most overhyped, maybe not overhyped, just the hyped game of this year. Everyone's really excited to play it and I will be covering it even though most of my content is based on survival. I've been looking forward to trying out Cyberpunk and giving it a whirl. Well, bad news, it's now been delayed. On top of that, there are other games that have been delayed and announced in the last few days. You've probably heard by now with Final Fantasy VII as well as the new Avengers game from Square Enix. But there are some genuine good reasons here why it's important that the devs take their time and hopefully this means we're going to get even better game when it does come out in now September. September the 17th, 2020. They've just posted this on Twitter right now, the official CD Projekt Red Twitter page. We have an important news regarding Cyberpunk 2077's release date we'd like to share with you today. Cyberpunk 2077 won't make the April release window and we're moving the launch date to September the 17th, 2020. We're currently at a stage where the game is complete and playable, but there's still work to be done. Night City is massive, full of stories, content and places to visit, but due to the sheer scale and complexity of it all, we need more time to finish playtesting, fixing and polishing. We want Cyberpunk 2077 to be our crowning achievement for this generation, and postponing launch will give us the precious months we need to make the game perfect. Expect more regular updates on progress as we get closer to the new release date. We're really looking forward to seeing you in Night City, thank you for your ongoing support. So CG Project Red have got a lot of goodwill left in the bank and this is definitely going to obviously piss off a large portion of people but if it means we get a better game I'm all for that. There are a couple other negatives though. Does this mean that the developers are going to have to still work long hours? It's long been an issue with CG Project Red although they have stated recently or in the last year or so that they have no longer had them same overworking practices that staff and developers will no longer have to complete huge amounts of crunch like they have previously done for The Witcher 3. But that's always still a bit of a persistent thing where devs may be still feeling like they have to work long hours. I mean, it's not like they release the game and then everyone just stops working. There's always still work to be done. But regardless, that's what's happening with Cyberpunk 2077. It was starting to look like something was up. We haven't really seen too many reveals. No real big info dumps or gameplay exclusively first looks. And we're only a couple months away from its supposed release. Of course, there's been some other delays. Like I said, if you missed it, the Final Fantasy VII Remake is now delayed till April. That's not so much of a horrible delay. It's only by one month. But a big shift has been the Avengers that is now also coming out on September the 4th, 2020. This was originally meant to launch in May. So another three, four months later, it's now going to be coming out. Clearly, the developers need that extra time, but are they also taking into account maybe some anticipation for the next gen? It clearly says here that it's this generation, and we've never seen any sort of news or info about any sort of upgrade to the brand new PS5 or the new Xbox Series X. So I'm starting to think this is actually being done to take into account that as well. By this delay, they also can take a look at the hardware that's coming in and see if they can get a job done for the next generation as well as this one. We already know that Xbox has promised that all of its first party exclusives will be able to be played on every type of Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox S, Xbox X and the Series X for the next two years at least. Now it doesn't mean all games just their first party games and it does look like they're going to be able to dial up the settings to increase it to make it more powerful and get a better overall experience if you're buying the brand new console. So are CD Projekt Red going along them lines as well? Will we see a very much big version of Cyberpunk 2077 coming out at the same time? It would mean a lot of their marketing could also go behind the new consoles. But there we go, just a bit of speculation there. Also, something else to consider is that The Witcher 3 is having its biggest spike in players it's ever had, on Steam at least. Anyway, there are more players playing it on Steam than they've ever played it, even at launch, due to the Netflix show obviously earning more interest. So that interest is going to carry over. More people are going to be more invested in the company and looking forward to their next game because they're obviously enjoying what a masterpiece The Witcher is. And so that will generate even more hype over the next few months. So we could see Cyberpunk being an absolute monster of a game, even more than it originally was going to be. Just a short one from me. As I said, I don't normally cover lots of this news, but I have been keeping tabs on Cyberpunk and I've been letting you guys know when the release date was coming. So keep it locked down if you want to hear more news about Cyberpunk and I'll see you right back soon.